In this example, we're going to take a look at using stepwise refinement to solve a problem and express the solution using pseudocode. The problem that we're going to address is calculate and output the surface area and volume of three boxes and output whether each is a cube. With stepwise refinement, we start off by writing down a few fairly general steps as a first start. We know that we want to work with three boxes and therefore because of the number three, the plural, we know that we're going to have to have a loop. So we can repeat three times and end the repeat at some point. Now while we're repeating the general steps for each of those boxes will be to read the input, then to perform some calculations, and finally to output results. Obviously, because these are general steps, there really is not enough detail for another person, another programmer, to take this plan and write the code from it. So we need to provide more information. So what we're going to do is to address read input and think about how we could uh, provide more detail. Well, first of all, we're obviously going to need to prompt the user so that the user knows what to input. And then we can read the height, read the length, and read the width of the box that we are considering currently. We also need to think about how we're going to perform the calculations. So you can see that what I'm doing is uh, making this a, a comment and now I can think about the detail of this. Well, there are two sets of calculations. Calculate the surface area of the box that we're considering and calculate the volume. But even at this point, these two steps, calculate surface area and calculate volume, are still not quite detailed enough. But we'll come back to that in a bit. We'll move on to output results. And outputting the results is fairly straightforward. We need to um, output the surface area output the volume and we also need to output whether or not this is a cube. Again more information is going to be needed on that but because this is stepwise refinement we don't have to worry too much about providing all the detail in one go. So now that we've got a slightly more refined solution we can then go back and think about each of these other steps. Well, I don't think really that we need to provide any more information about this. And a programmer would be able to take those lines of pseudocode and convert those quite easily into the appropriate programming language. Calculating the surface area, though, is a different matter. So we're going to change this into a comment and then think about how we can put in the, the details here. So surface area, which has got to be calculated, is therefore equal to, let's do this a step at a time. Uh, we know that the surface area of one of the faces will be height times width. And that, that has to be added to another surface. So that will have to be calculated and then we'll do something similar with width times length and then again with the third face which will be height times length but that's only three of the six faces and so we want to multiply all of that by two and so we now have a calculation which if we were to tidy it up a little bit would look something like this.
then we can focus on calculating the volume. So we'll change that to a comment and then calculate volume as it is equal to height times width times length. And so we've now provided for the calculations all the necessary detail. But we still have to consider this last statement inside the loop here. Output whether or not this is a cube. We have some decisions to make here. We could, for example, assign a Boolean value to a variable and then output the Boolean value. Or we could just make our decision and then output either yes, this is a cube or no, it isn't. I'm going to go with the latter option. And so we'll turn this one into a comment and then make our decision. A cuboid is a cube if the width and the height and the length are all equal. And therefore, notice that I'm putting the end in immediately. I'm uh, typing the, uh, the start of the if. That way I don't forget to do it. We can then output this is a cube else output this is not a cube. We now have gone back to each of the broad general steps and gradually, step by step, provided more and more refinement, more and more detail until we now have the finished solution which is at a suitable level of detail for someone to take it and write a Java program.